Hi, I'm Heather from uh, QE2. I'm 16 years old. Hi, I'm George. I'm from Year 12. Hi, I'm Tash. I'm in Year 12. Um, yeah, I did. I voted in Peel. I think for me, I know that obviously a lot of people say it, but as a woman, a lot of people have had to fight for that vote and it seems like quite an important thing that can. I know a lot of people think that it doesn't affect you, but it can affect you. I did vote in the recent election. I took it quite seriously. Uh, I read all of Peel's uh, candidates. Can't say that I, a lot of them were amazing. Some of them were pretty good, but yeah, other than that, I don't think uh, a lot of the candidates really put effort or enough time or they're just I don't know, it felt like they weren't going to act on what they were saying. I did vote in the most recent election. Um, it was my first time voting actually, uh, since I turned 16. Um, and yes, I do live in Peel, so it was that area, so Peel and Glenfaber. I was never really brought up in a political family, nor was like politics really pushed upon me. However, um, me recently, as a person in my generation, I did think it was important to look into it. Um, and read the leaflets and listen to what they had to say, especially um, with the current affairs on the island in terms of climate change, in terms of how they would influence the young people, especially in school and education. So I did take time to think about it and vote. I mean, not necessarily right now, but I, I mean, across the world, they are seeing the effects of it. But climate, I said earlier um, about how the future of our generation is going to have a massive impact on the climate situation, you know, from uh, fast fashion industries as well, something that quite interests me. There are a lot of issues for everyone on the island. It's a, it's a weird place to be. It is safe uh, for the most part, but it's also extremely boring for a 16 year old. I can't, I can't lie. Uh, there's not much to do. There's very little entertainment. And I think it turns a lot of younger people to worse stuff like drugs or alcohol or just crime in general. I know a lot I know a lot of people who have gone down bad paths purely because there's nothing else to do and it's a it's sad to see and I really hope it will be changed. Not having a, a safe place to voice out your opinions and thoughts. Um, I think nowadays people are very closed off because there's no such thing as healthy conversation or a place to really um, voice out your opinion um, and how you feel and sometimes when you do there's not necessarily uh, a nice response to it. However, I think that it's really important to advocate for people to use their voices in a way um, that is healthy. Oh, um, probably some vinyl because I just got a record player, so that would be quite nice. Oh god, um, I have, I have no idea to be honest. Probably some games. I'm a, I'm a low maintenance person. I don't don't require a lot. <laughs> What am I asking for for Christmas? Oh my goodness, something really cheesy like world peace. <laughs> or just more time, if only. Um, but if not, I would like a new coat for six warm. <laughs> <laughs>